Alrighty, how's it going everyone? It's Rick Racket back with you guys again. Time for a new Steam Deck tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to controller swap on the Dolphin emulator. Uh, I would assume that this particular tutorial would only be useful or will only be useful for the Twin Snakes. But if there's some other obscure GameCube game that requires controller swapping, uh, that I'm not aware of, then this should work as well. Um, so what you're going to do is go into the Dolphin emulator. Uh, if you've installed your emulators via EmuDeck, you should have a icon uh, that looks something like this. And you're just going to click into it. I've already got it booted up. And what you're going to do next is go over here to these arrows. To navigate the Dolphin menu, you have to hold down the Steam button and move your thumb over the trackpad if you're using the Steam Deck as a controller. So you click these arrows, click controllers, go to uh, configure on port one. And what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you have evdev-microsoft-0-microsoft uh, EVDev Xbox 360 pad zero selected. And if it's not selected, click this drop down menu and it should be in there. Should be. Uh, don't select the one that says Steam Deck uh, because that one will just make your controls not work at all. So again, select this one. There's also one that says SDL Microsoft Xbox 360 pad. That one doesn't work either. It's specifically EV Dev uh, Xbox 360 pad. Right, so once you've selected that, uh, you're going to create a controller profile. And what I would do is call it like MGS uh, to bring up your on-screen keyboard. Uh, once you've selected this right here, you'll click, hold down the Steam button and press the X button and that'll bring up your on-screen keyboard. Once you've named it something, again, I would go with MGS, but it's up to you. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you name it, just as long as it's something that you'll, uh, when doesn't necessarily say remember, just something easy and something quick. But once you've picked that, you'll now have it in this drop-down menu. You wanna click save. And then once you've done that, go over here, uh, back out by hitting the B button and then go to port two, go to configure, and then go to that profile and then click the load button and then it'll load all the settings for port two. And what you wanna do next is click this box that says always connected, go up here to save and then back out. And for the safety sake, I would go in and do this for port three and four as well. Just repeat the same steps from uh, for configuration for the or for controller two, the configuration I did for controller two, and just go on down the line, and it, all these settings should save, and you'll be good. Now I'm going to go into the Twin Snakes and do the Psycho Mantis fight just to show you that it works. All right, so now I'm in the Psycho Mantis fight. Going to equip a gun, dodge his telekinesis ball, go over here, and you can just shoot him. Like that's all you have to do is. Just go in and configure those controller ports in the Dolphin menu and you're good to go. There's no other steps involved. You don't have to go into another menu and activate the or, or controller swap or anything like that like you would on PC. Uh, it just automatically does it. And when the fight's over and you go through the next door, like when the fight's over, it'll say swap to controller port 2. Once you go through the next door, that message goes away and it just seems to automatically go back to port 1. Uh, I don't know why this works. I just know that it works. And I've done a full playthrough of this on uh, on this channel uh, that you can check out. I'll have a link in the description to that full playthrough of the Twin Snakes without using the first person view mechanic or specifically not using first person shooting. But um, yeah, and I will also have a link in the description to a playlist of all of the Dolphin tutorials I've done so far for the Steam Deck. So you can really optimize your experience. Uh, I have one that shows you how to adjust the sensitivity of the trigger so that it feels more like it's supposed to. It makes doing like the tactical reload in the Twin Snakes feel more natural uh, when you're playing with like a Steam Deck or an Xbox 360 controller. I'll also point out again that I've created a custom configuration for this game in the uh, community tab for the controllers like you can go to this community layout um, well it's not showing up now for some reason 
but it's there. If you can't find it, let me know and I'll go in and fix it. But this is what the setting is named. It's Dolphin Menu slash the Twin Snakes. And it's basically mimicking the MGS2 controller scheme. Uh, the only difference is you're pressing the X button for confirmation as opposed to the A or B button. Uh, but you can bring up the codec by pressing the select button instead of pressing start plus A. You can bring up the map by pressing the start button as opposed, as opposed to the start and B button or whatever weird combination it was back in the day on an actual GameCube controller. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to mention. You know, again, if you go through my tutorials that I've done so far with the um, Steam Deck for the Dolphin emulator, you'll have a pretty optimal experience. Like it'll feel a lot better than a lot of the default settings that the Dolphin menu or the Dolphin emulator has on the Steam Deck. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, if you found the video useful, please, please consider hitting the like button. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I do tutorials like this fairly often. Uh, the next one may be a viewer request. Uh, someone asked me to look into doing a guide for, uh, what was it? Some kind of Super Mario, Super Mario 64 Plus, I think it was. It's like an enhanced version of the PC port. So if I can get that to run on the Steam Deck, then I will do a video on it. If not, then I'll find something else to do. Um, but if you have any requests for tutorials, let me know in the comments below. I can't promise anything. I can't promise that I can get it to work, but I will promise to look into it if it's uh, something that I have, like a game or uh, emulator stuff. Uh, with emulators, I can. it's more likely that I can figure it out because I have all the emulators available to me. If it's a specific game that I don't have, then I'd have to wait to... Uh, the game goes on sale if it's an expensive game and then go in and buy it and try and figure it out. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. Stay tuned. I will be getting back into the playthroughs pretty soon. MGS2 will probably be next. Maybe. We'll see. But uh, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.